Anyway, back to Steve Miller. Really just rotten to the core. Sulfuric. Just reeks of sulfur. The spawn of Satan, Stephen Miller. He, he just is. You, you, if you were to cast Stephen Miller in a movie as the bad guy, as the president's bad enforcer, the casting director would get fired. The director says it's too on the nose. This isn't the rise and fall of the Third Reich. Get me somebody who looks somewhat normal. Stephen Miller looks like something out of the Gestapo. Uh, bad guy. Bad guy, and he does not wish us well. He hates you and me and this country almost as much as he hates himself and his parents. I heard he's adopted. That's what I've heard. Uh, but if he were my son, I'd say that too. <laughs> I would say, uh, we just, uh, we didn't even adopt him. It's, it's something that we flushed five times and wouldn't go down, and it blinked, and we wrapped it in a blanket and put up with the smell because we felt sorry for it. This is what Stephen Miller told The Times about the big immigration plan. Any activists who doubt President Trump's resolve in the slightest are making a drastic error. Trump will unleash the vast arsenal of federal powers to implement the most spectacular migration crackdown this country's ever seen. The immigration legal activists won't know what's happening. Blitzkrieg. The Times in uh, last week said Trump's second term, they're already planning it. And this time around, Trump is saying no more Mr. Nice Guy. He, was, he says he was too nice. And Stephen Miller is saying we were too nice. Trump plans to only surround himself with cabinet officials and advisors who won't try to rein in his nativist instincts. Donald Trump has talked about solving our nation's homeless problem much the same way he's talked about solving the migrant crisis. He has talked about solving our nation's homeless problem, not with affordable housing, rather by rounding up what he refers to as urban campers and placing these urban campers in what he calls tent cities, where they will be given food and offered drug rehabilitation. But Trump cautions only if they want to be helped, because Trump warns that a lot of these urban campers they don't want to be helped. That's what they are. They're urban campers. They're goof-offs. They're not homeless. Urban campers. It's a lifestyle they chose. That's how he's framing it. Don't feel sorry for them. They didn't lose their home or fall through the cracks. No, they decided to go camping in the city. Here is Donald Trump talking about how he's going to solve the homeless problem. We'll ban urban camping wherever possible. Violators of these bans will be arrested, but they will be given the option to accept treatment and services if they're willing to be rehabilitated. Many of them don't want that, but we'll give them the option. We'll give them the option. Many of them don't want that. They don't want to be rehabilitated. We'll give them the option. Uh, what is rehabilitation in his mind out there in the tent cities? Well, it'd be picking lettuce for free. Please continue, mein Fuhrer. We will then open up large parcels of inexpensive land, bring in doctors, psychiatrists, social workers, and drug rehab specialists, and create tent cities where the homeless can be relocated and their problems identified. Problems identified. Yeah, I mean, this is where my relatives ended up, in tent cities. They were relocated, uh, out of sight, out of mind, and their problems would be identified. You identify their problems, not their problems, what kind of problems they are for Trump's vision of America. And so you know which camps or tent cities to put them in and what... Uh, kind of stars they should wear, and uh, how you dispose of them. These things happen very quickly when a society is breaking down. 
Tent cities uh, where nobody can visit them. Tent cities out in the middle of nowhere. You know, our immigration justice system is tent cities. You can't visit the, the relatives of yours who are in detention centers right now. It, it takes two hours to drive to these for-profit detention centers. Lawyers can't get there. The media can't get there. This is his vision. Trump's plan is not limited to new arrivals. He wants to remove undocumented immigrants who have been living in America for decades and who might have already parented children whose citizenship is guaranteed by the 14th Amendment. Birthright citizenship, or anchor babies, as Donald Trump calls them, they will not be recognized. Trump will deport them first and then invite the children to file lawsuits to gain re-entry from whichever country they are sent to. That's how they're going to do it. Break things. It's better to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. So they will accidentally deport citizens, children who were born here with their parents, and then everything gets tied up in the, in the courts. You know, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, who's running for vice president, also wants to eliminate birthright citizenship. We played the clip of him admitting that he is a recipient of birthright citizenship. Both his parents came to America from India. His mother and father conceived this monstrosity, Vivek Ramaswamy, here in America, and they were not citizens. But because he was born here, I mean, the biggest argument for getting rid of birthright citizenship is Vivek Ramaswamy. His parents didn't become citizens. His father never became an American citizen. Vivek Ramaswamy's father is not an American citizen. His mother became an American citizen after she had this homunculus. So he's the beneficiary of birthright citizenship. Vivek Ramaswamy, but he wants to get rid of it. These are bad, bad people. Bad people. He, I put him in the same category as Stephen Miller. Bad, 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 bad people. Uh, morally and mentally defective. There's something wrong with their brains. Trump recently promised to deport any foreign students who participate in rallies supporting the Palestinians. He said he would order his State Department to conduct what are called ideological screenings of all foreign students who apply for visas to study in this country. This is the McCarran Act. This is how we didn't allow Charlie Chaplin back into the country. It's time right now the David Feldman Show So get your ears on right Buckle in real tight He's got a lot to say